And we believe we have a solution called Project Green Street. There are many causes of hunger and poverty, and some of them are such as the finite amount of arable land versus the increasing population, the non-productive usage of arable land, massive surpluses of staple crops and grains in developed country, and these are often not distributed to areas in need. Unskilled farmers who are not familiar with the environment they are working with and often plant wrong crops leading to bad harvests. So, what do we need to do to end the massive starvation? We are promoting a new way to maximize crop growth and we promote a more effective food distribution structure. By giving your farmers better farming education, this will increase their chances of better harvest and reduce problems caused by bad farming techniques. The aim of this project is to reduce hunger and poverty through the global food monitoring system. By monitoring the hunger and poverty level, we can manage the food surplus by redistributing it to the areas in need. And we can also assist worldwide organizations such as UNICEF, Red Cross, and the United Nations in food distribution to areas in need. By assisting farmers in food production, we monitor the weather and terrain and update them about the latest conditions happening in their cultivation area. This will allow the farmers to have a gauge of what is happening to their environment and also allow them to plan the crops they can cultivate during the seasons. This will allow the farmers to reduce chances of bad harvest due to conditions such as bad weather and also allow them to have better control over their crops. So, how does this program work? This program will be an ESP.NET website based on technologies such as Windows Azure, Microsoft.NET, Microsoft SQL Server, Big Maps, and this will be developed on a Visual Studio platform. This is the homepage of Project Green Screen. On the homepage, live RSS feeds and the latest news of hunger and poverty issues are being displayed. This is to educate people about the hunger and poverty issues around the world to ensure that users of the website are updated about these world issues. Next, we have the cultivation recommendation page. On this website, farmers or users can choose the type of wood they wish to cultivate. Then, they will input their location and a recommended area around their location. The locations retrieved are the most suitable location for rice cultivation. In this example, Gangalan Canberra is being chosen for rice cultivation. The most suitable terrain or area is being highlighted in blue, as shown in the map. This is the monitoring page. In this page, we monitor disasters, food shortages, and issues around the world. In this example, I'll be showing China and its flooding incidents which causes food shortages. I'm selecting China and flood. And I'll get the map result. As seen in the map, the push pins are area affected by the flood and there's an info box stating reasons of the flood. In this example, there's a broken dam and the food shortage status is medium. This means that this area is experiencing food shortages and donation to the area might be required as soon as possible. This is the donation tab. Under this donation tab, we have four buttons for users to choose, and I'll go through one by one with you. In Donate Now, this is where users who wishes to donate can enter the amount of money 
or the type of goods they wish to donate. When they click to donate money, they will be made to enter their credit card information and particulars. Or they can choose to donate through PayPal and this money will be used to aid the needies. Under Goods Donation, users will be made to enter their particulars, contact information and the location of the goods as this location will be used for the needies later. So in the next tab, users can also request for donations in the Help tab. When users click onto the Help tab, they will be made to fill in their personal particulars the amount of goods needed for their area and the emergency status. They will also need to upload the proof of document from organizations such as UNICEF, World Grid or their respective local governments in order to prove to us that they are in need of help. After users donate, if they wish to view their donation list, they can click on Donators and the list of donations will be displayed. After the transaction has been approved, the list will be automatically updated and users can view their donations. In donation, administrators have administrative rights to approve requests and reject requests. In the approved list, users can retrieve recommended donors and the nearest donor's location will be displayed. They can also seek recommendation on which recommended donor they should approach by clicking on Get Recommendation and the donor's information will be presented. Therefore, users then can decide on which donor to approach based on their name, distance, location, amount of donations and contact number. Under the Feedback tab, users can choose to communicate or chat with each other and exchange agricultural knowledges. They can also feedback on our system and advise us on how to improve. As this system is still under development, we have planned for future functions to be included. One such function that will be included is barter trading. In this function, users can trade with each other seeds and grains. This will allow the more crops variety to fluctuate around the world. This will ensure that crop grains does not go into extinction and also allow farmers from different areas to grow crops that are more suitable for them. In the About Us tab, we have a sharp description about our team and about the project. We also have an email address attached to it for anyone who wishes to contact us. While working on this project, we have identified risks associated with our work. They are such as corrupted government, inaccurate data, donation scams. There is no definite solution for such issues. However, we have some proposed solutions to help. They are such as working with organizations like UNICEF, Red Cross, and the United Nations to deal with the corrupted government data refinement with government or organizations involved in humanitarian aids, and collaborating with government or charitable organizations in verifying donation recipients. There are many benefits for this project, namely providing a grain of food wiki for farmers and government, Promoting equal food distribution Managing food shortage situation Preventing food surplus wastage And lastly, maintaining food sustainability Hunger and poverty have become a worldwide issue and have cost the life of many innocent our team have created this system in hope that it will relieve such situations. There is no permanent solution for such issues, however, we hope that our application will reduce the rate of extreme hunger and poverty. Project Greenstream has three unique characteristics. 
namely useful, unique, and union. It is useful to farmers, government, and organizations as it allows them to predict the weather conditions, the land conditions, and allow them to understand their farming environment even more. It is unique as there is no worldwide collaboration in promoting food sustainability and ending hunger and poverty act. And it is a union of the world as everyone put in their effort together to solve this issue of hunger and poverty. We have planned for future developments. One such function is butter trading. This will facilitate trades between farmers on our website. This will allow them to exchange seeds and grains around the world and expose them to more food variety. This will increase chances of food sustainability and allow more different variety of food or grain to circulate around the world. This will greatly help in ending hunger and poverty as more variety of grains are grown around the world in suitable conditions.